Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 30 of lead code that is substrings with concatenation of all words. So, in let's go to the description and try to understand this. Okay. So we have given a string s and an array of a string words, and we have all the strings of words are of same length. So we can see that we have given a string s and an array of words, and uh, you can see that length of all the string in words are of same length. That is of length three in this case and length four of in second case. Okay. And uh, a concatenated string is a s in s is a substring that contains all the string of any permutation of words sub concatenated so we have to find out this concatenated strings okay substrings so what is this so if we are, con we are going to concatenate all the permutation of these words then this is going to be foo bar one and second one will be bar four so all the permutation we have to check for all the permutation in this string so we have to find out if any of these permutation is present or not so let's uh, starting we can say that for substring bar foo we can say there is a substring bar foo which is present which can be built from this words okay so we can see that 0 is going to be our first index and again at index 9 we can see that foo bar is present so we have to again insert these 9 in our result and we have to return that in second case there are no concatenated string that can be present so what are the concatenated substring uh, a string that can be built after with after concatenating this so words good based word can be one concatenated string and another one can be word word good based and so on word word based good there are many options that we can build so we can see that none of these is present in this string so we will be returning a empty list in this case so how we can solve this problem let's first try to understand this then we will be building some algorithm based on, based on that and writing the code for same so for let's check for this input s we'll try to start checking from beginning so first we will check the first element that first three that is bar present in this yes bar is present again we will be checking is foo present yes foo is present so and then we are done with all the words so we can see that at zeroth index a permutation of all the strings is present so we will be turning zero in that case again we will be checking for the next from next index R erf is not present again we will be checking for next index are f1 not present and so on at last will be coming at index 9 where you can check that foo is present and we will be checking again the next for the remaining one that is bar yes bar is present so after that we can see that all the strings are present in this substring so we can see that uh, if this is a concatenated substring so we'll be returning 0 and 9 in that case so how we can check this so all that for that we we'll, like we checked for let's say there are foo also yeah also here okay so in that case and a foo is also here in that case we have to check for both the foo so we have to keep count of all the strings here and check for all the strings okay so how we can keep count of that we can keep count of using any data structure something like hash map so we will be building a hash map we will be that, that will be taking care of all the count that is foo is one and bar is one in that case in this case let's say foo is not present here okay and we'll be checking is all the occurrences of foo is present in that uh, substring or not if yes then we'll be checking for all the occurrences of bar and wherever we found that all the occurrences of foo bar and let's say another uh, string are present then we can say that this substring is going to be one of our result okay so we understood this let's uh, try to write the algorithm for same so first we have to declare a hash map that we are already seen so has map count is going to need in which we will be doing count all occurrences of word not word all occurrences of a string of words okay and then we have to find out the length of all length of all the concatenated string how we can find out the length of all the concatenated string is going to be length something like the length of one string 
multiplied by all the numbers so let's say uh, length s length that is length of a string is going to words dot words zero dot length okay and uh, word length of word is going to be length words dot length okay and total number of uh, length of a string s is going to be n equal to s dot length so this is going to need need so we'll be keep attacking from beginning and till when we have to check we have to check for up to like uh, for the last two three and three that is six character we don't have to iterate like if you will found out that to b bar is not bar is present and uh, then we'll be checking that is foo present from here so foo is not present so we don't have to check from a so till here we have to iterate so from beginning to b we have to iterate so we'll be doing for i equal to 0 to n minus word s len into word dot length that is length okay so we don't have to add it till last okay that is because this is going to give a error that is index out of bound exception okay now after this inside this we have to check whether all the occurrences of foo bar or let's any string is present in this substring for or not so we have to check for only substring of length six in this case so in so in general case what will be going length of substring what is the length of substring that is going to be length of substring is going to be s length into len okay so again we'll be going to need hash map for that hash map that is seen okay and uh, we'll find out this substring substria is going to equal to s dot substring i to i plus length that is s len into len okay and uh, we have to check whether this substring is containing all the a string of these words or not so how we can check that we can check by keeping all the counter of uh, length of s len we'll be count all the s len substring of this substring and then we can check with that uh, whether our count and scene is equal or not if it is found to be equal then we can say that this substring is the permutation of all the words of this word of this words array okay so we'll be doing the same count all the occurrences of substrings of length s len of substr okay and if scene and count are equal then in that case we will be storing the result a store i in result and at last return the result okay this is going to be our approach and using this algorithm we can solve this problem so let's go to the compiler and write code for same okay so first we will check if s dot length is equal to 0 or s equal to null or words equal to null or words dot length equal to 0 in that case we have to do we don't have to do anything just return list of a string new array list of okay and after that we'll be declaring a hash map that we have discussed earlier a string of integer type for counting all the words this is going to be our counts okay now count all the occurrences of a string from words so for all the string from word do counts 
डॉट फुट वर्ड काउंट्स डॉट गेट और डिफॉल्ट इफ इट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट देन इन दैट केस डिफॉल्ट इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो ओके सो वर्ड जीरो एंड देन रिटर्न एंड देन इंक्रीज द काउंटर बाय वन ओके आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू डिक्लेयर अ स्ट्रिंग लिस्ट ऑफ इंटीजर टू स्टोर ऑल द रिजल्ट and then we will be running the for loop from int i equal to 0 to i should be lesser than s length that we have discussed so first find out the all the lengths s length is going to equal to s dot length so in that case s length is length of s string and uh, len will is going to be length of words so len words dot length and then let's say s length is going to be length of words 0 okay and n is going to be total length of a string s n is going to be s dot length you can change uh, change this accordingly okay so i should be less than n minus s length into len okay plus 1 and i plus plus now we have to find out the substring substr that is going to be s dot substring of length i to i plus till the length of this s length into l len okay so we'll be doing i plus s len into len okay there is a error that we forgot this is going to be s length with l capital okay then we have to declare a hash map also that is going to be a string of and integer type this is going to be our sin new hash map now count all the occurrences of words all the occurrences of a string from words and we will be checking that whether this sin and uh, count is equal or not so we will we'll be doing this using int i equal to j equal to 0 and j should be lesser than substr dot length and we will be in the increasing our index by j plus equal to length of each of string from the word so s length so again we have to find out the substring of uh, first uh, in the uh, first test case from we have to find out the substring of the first three characters so that is going to be sub that is we have to find all the word let's say word is going to be sub str dot substring of length length is going to be s length okay no not s length but length yeah substring substr dot substring of length j2 j plus len okay then we will be counting this using that something like this so just copy this and paste it here and change a little bit word is same so just change the count with sin yeah and if after that we will check whether s dot length sorry whether sin is 
equals to counts if, if it is then we have found our one concatenated resting and we will be storing that in our result result dot add i and at last returning result so it's time to run this let's check if there is any error yeah so we got a error sorry words dot length this is a array don't have to do okay so first test case has been filled and second third so i think where is the mistake okay so our solution has been accepted and uh, one thing you can do like something like we are checking this concatenation for every time we can do one thing like we can move this part in a separate function and we can call that and keep checking so this we don't have to write this here so we have to keep all the code and put something somewhere in another function and we can keep calling them so that is what you can do by yourself okay so i am leaving this for yourself so we have solved this problem and uh, i hope you must have learned something from this video in that case please please like make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share this video among your friends thank you